Welcome to another episode from the Macedon Rangers and District Motor Club. Hi all. Today we go back to the club rooms to check out an XY Falcon. No, it's not a GT, hence the name. Um, Robbie bought it for $450 when he was 11 years old. From then till now, he spent a huge amount of time and cash to bring the car up to what it is now. We also have a quick look at a little Mark II Escort that has a two liter in it that has had a tremendous amount of work done on the engine. The owner explains what he's done to the car. Another prime example of a lovely little car. Come on, let's go and check it out. I mean, this wasn't always like this. Um, he's got a, yeah, yeah. a photo so album. I've, I've got this car he's got a photo yeah. album yeah. of uh, when, I the, uh, when we first did it up. Yes. It, it, had a, it was blue also, yep. but it was a, G, a GS look. Like. Yes. And we um, had a six cylinder 252V with uh, Celica five speed behind it. So it had been Original. played around with a little bit. A little bit. But yes. That lasted one year. After a year, we took it off the road and started doing all this again. So he, he, he must have had a garage to put it in, did he? Or? he did. Actually, they had a, the main garage of the home, but they're on a sort of decent block of land. Yes. And behind the garage, they built another garage. Okay. And, and that that's gave... where the car was done. Yes. Uh, in this little shed at the back. Yes. And that and. Uh, but yeah, being this... being so young, did anybody help him? Yeah. Well, I'm his uncle. Yes. I was always into cars. Yes. Uh, I've got another nephew who's roughly his age. He's a bit older. He's into cars as well. His dad was into cars as well. Yes. So it's plenty of support. Plenty of support. Yes. And so we, um, yeah. Uh, so, so you helped him. He, he, so we helped him. Oh yeah. Yep. I mean, I painted the first one. The first time I painted the car. Yep. Yes. Uh, this time it was done professionally. This. And uh, yeah. So. Brilliant. Yeah. Lovely. No, no, it's yeah, great. Great story. Yeah. 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 Oh, it is. It is. Yeah. You must be proud of it also. Yeah, but, hey? well, well, I mean, apart from the bodywork. Just how, how it's all come out. Well, we did the engine. Yes. Robbie and I, we built, we built the engine. We built the gearbox front end, everything else, diff, and so all the rest of it. It's a 351. No, it, it, well, it's a, a dark block, so there's nothing Ford in there. Okay, got All it. Right? Yes. It's a dark block, it's a Ford block, but it's a dark block. Yeah. Uh, bored out to uh, 4.25, uh, it's stroked, so it's a 427, All right, yep. AFR head, and all the rest of it. Got so it. It goes with it, it's got a roller cam, ro rockers, lifters. And everything. what's its output? Output is 500 at the wheels at the moment and so rough, roughly 600 at the flight. Through what transmission? The uh, transmission is a TK. TK, what, Joe Robbins? Rob, the transmission, TK60, TK6? TK600, yeah. Yeah, 600. That's, that's what's behind it. Yep. With a 9 inch yes. diff, uh, 31 spine diff, yep. at the back. And uh, yeah, four wheel disc brakes. A, a lot going on there. A lot going on. Uh, yeah. it has, the nitrous is hooked up, but he's never had the. Kahunas to actually Has he taken it down the track? No. Okay. It's never been down the track. He's too scared. Got it. Because uh, a bit of all, a hint. Uh, there's a lot of money in there. Yes. Over $100,000 worth of car there. Yes. Uh, that's just with us doing a lot of the work. Yes. So not, yeah. not why. Not, you're not counting labour. All, all, we, uh, all we had professionals do was the, uh, the paint interior. Work, paint work and interior. Yes. Interior was done professionally, obviously. So it was done the paint, but the body work was done by us as well. Brilliant. So no, it's a credit to you all. Yeah. So it's good to it's, see. Uh, mainly uh, Robbie and his dad, the guy in the shirt, the red shirt. Yes. Um, Lovely. And a couple of his friends, uh, panel beaters and all that. Brilliant. So, uh, but we obviously did the mechanical, I did all the wiring of the car and all the rest of it. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Uh, so, good to see. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, it's a push button start, it's not a. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. And what. Sort of stuff. So it's uh, got a holly on it, or? Yes, it's a holly, and uh, that, that was uh, the. What size is it? What size holly? 1000 GFM. Right. Well, 
as it turned out, I don't know who did the carving. Uh, he sent away all the specs of the engine, and the guy did the carving for it. And I, I don't know who done it, uh, but whoever done it, it's perfect. It's spot on. Yes. When he actually had a tuned dyno, they really did not have to have touch, to. The, touch the carving much Better. to to produce, and yeah. it kept just producing. <coughs> That 490, 95, 500 horses. I still got the old doors. So the person specking the carby knew what to do with the jetting, etc. He, he must have really known what he was doing. Yes. Or with the jetting of the carby. Yes. Oh, well, when they tuned it, they hardly had to touch the carby. Yes. Um, so, yeah. Lovely. Oh, thanks, Mario. Yeah, yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Man, okay. Yeah, so, so all the electronics. Um, yeah, they're all thing. The electronic dizzy, everything. So, um, did you? So, had, has has it got an ECU? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the in the car. So, what did? Is that being modified to suit yeah, the car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what is it? A Motec or something? Uh, no, no, no. It's a Wolf. Wolf 3D. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm videoing at the moment. So. Yeah. Um, so the core packs. Yeah, they're from a, they're from an LS1. Really? Yep. So the voltage output would have been what? You just, is there yeah. is there much of a difference in the no. coil pack outputs? No. No. I mean, tiny little turbo. Uh, just tiny. It's just a little bit. <laughs> but uh, what sort of boost can you get? From um, well, it's running on 18 pound boost at the moment. But it can go up to about 25. And can switchable? Yes, yes, yes. So it's got the controller, um, manual controller. Yes. Yeah. And so internals to the two liter. Have yeah. You, have you done much? Yeah, inside it's all been uh, Hones um, thing. It's been bought out 60 thou. Um, it's got um, Honda pistons in it. Um, all rods. The whole lot, the whole lot, and um, yeah, it's got 850 cc injectors and um, VN throttle body 60 60 uh, mil. So, yeah, and, and that, that goes into the intercooler, and the yes. intercooler interlocks into the radio. Beautiful, yeah, 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 yeah. lovely work, yeah, Maltese, yeah. that's my um, brother in law there, very nice. Yeah. Okay. But, um, so You've had the engine out, obviously, to do yeah, the, yeah, to, yeah. to do the work. Yeah. So, how many k's has it done on the since you've done the rework? Oh well, maybe about oh, good ten thousand, just ten thousand, not much. I, I don't yeah. use it every. Yeah, no, un every understandable. Yeah. yeah. But it, it, it's a good driver. I drive it everywhere. I drive it every show. I don't trailer it. Yes. It, it, it goes to every show and it drives to every show. Lovely, beautiful. Yeah. yeah so. And, and it's you're you're a painter by trade, eh? Painter by trade. Nice. Okay. The RS. And what what brought you to this colour? Um, when I did it, it was the colour of the time, yes. which was 2002, and that's the Phantom Purple from the BAXR6. Lovely. Yeah. Beautiful. The nice. Phantom Purple. Phantom Purple. Yeah. And now his Falcon is a Phantom Purple too, because <laughs> he's uh, he's got a Typhoon at home. Aha. Uh -huh. so, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. No worries. Uh.